Hey everybody, it's Minister Lou. Hope you're having a good Monday. I am. And if it's not Monday for you, whatever day it is, I hope it's going well for you. I hope the Lord is blessing it. Right now we are going to read a psalm. We are on psalm number 52. Getting there, right? Phew. Let's just jump in this. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually. The tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. That is true. The tongue does act like a very sharp razor. Our words get cuts people so deep it's unreal. doesn't mean we should do it though we shouldn't do that but the tongue does have the ability to do so thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather to speak righteousness Salah you know I don't know how the, I, we could only know the times from what we read from back then but I've met and personally was one of these people who loved evil more than good and lying was like basic English at one time for me but I've been delivered from that by God he's taken that from me that is no longer my nature it's something that I despise I don't enjoy it no longer If I ever catch myself doing it, I'm instantly quick to correct myself. Like, no, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. I don't do this no more. No. And I take it to God, like we all should. Thou lovest all devouring words. O oh, the deceitful tongue. Tongue is deceitful, isn't it? God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Salah. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Wow. <laughs> Lots of men like that today. Lots of men that don't want nothing to do with God whatsoever, don't rely on him for his strength. They're more worried about what they have and how they could be. There's lots of people who just thrive on being wicked. Lots. I was delivered of wickedness as well. Goodness was I. But boy do I bear the scars of it. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. Mm -hmm. That's good. We should all trust in the mercy of God. He is extremely merciful, slow to anger, loving, caring, forgiving, gracious. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before, all, before thy saints. I like how he's talking about how mankind is in this one. It's even in his day, men love lives. They love doing wickedness, being evil. But this is like, I'm going to praise God. He's done everything. God is who we should wait on. God's who we should put all of our trust in, all of our faith in. Not our man-made materials on this earth and the things that are going to rust and fade away. For God is eternal, not going anywhere. 
thank you everybody for taking the time to watch this video. <clears throat> I love sharing the word of God with others. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everyone. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. He'll be here before we know it, and his children will be gone in the blink of an eye. The time has come to repent of our sins, everyone. It's time to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, to come to understand about his death on the cross for us, and to understand about his resurrection that happened three days later for us. It's time to know who our Heavenly Father is and what He's done for us from the beginning of time. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.